Whenever someone plays Minecraft, they usually start off by creating a brand new world, starting off with nothing, and then building up all their resources to get the best stuff possible in the game. But today, I'm going to be playing the game starting with the best items, and then every 30 minutes, my inventory will go down a level. How the level system works is level 1 is full out netherite, and it is also heavily enchanted. Level 2 is diamond gear. Now, the diamond gear is still really good, but there is no insane enchants on it, but it still has some pretty good enchantments. Level 3 is iron gear. Now, the iron gear is super basic but gets the job done. It has the most bare bones enchants on it. Level 4 is chainmail slash stone gear. This gear has no enchantments except for the bow. Lastly is level 5. Level 5 is just straight up leather and wood gear. There is nothing special about it and it just sucks. With me having good gear for only a limited amount of time, can I get to the end and beat the game? My name is Oink and I make videos of me playing video games in the weirdest way possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't worry. I'll earn your subscription by the end of this video. Enjoy. In front of me are a bunch of chests that contain the items that I will need for this challenge. I'm starting with the chest on the very far left that contains all of the netherite items. Now when I exit this chest after grabbing all the items, the challenge will start as well as the timer in the top left. This timer will be our indicator as to when we should discard our items and go down to the next level of items. The first thing I did was travel a little bit from spawn, but not too far. Then I found a nice spot to mine because I wanted to find some lava and water so that I could make some obsidian for another portal. I found this large body of water that was near some lava, but boy did I have to do some digging to get to that lava. I got all the obsidian I needed and I headed back up. Once I got back to the surface, I headed back to spawn and set up the nether portal. Next, I had to go find some flint so I can combine that with an iron ingot to make the flint and steel to light the portal. Then I smelted the iron that I had, made the flint and steel, and lit up the portal. We are now ready to go into the nether. If you could tell by my sounds of excitement, I was super happy to spawn at another fortress. That way I didn't have to waste time looking for one. Then I found a blaze spawner, which is exactly what I was looking for, so that I could farm the blazes to get blaze rods. Having all the blaze rods I needed, I headed back home. After getting back, I only had a couple minutes left before I had to switch out my gear, so I decided I'd explore a little bit around spawn, and I found a village. I took a quick nap, and then I raided the village for food. Then we hit the 30 minute mark. So I have to drop all of my current items and then head back to spawn so I can get the new items. So we are now on level two. Now that we have our diamond here, we need to go back to the nether and go to the warped forest biome. Endermen spawn quite frequently there and we need to kill endermen so that we can get ender pearls. After about two minutes of strip mining, I found the warped forest biome. Now all we have to do is kill some endermen and get some ender pearls. Now that I have all the ender pearls that I need, I'm going home. Next, I have to use the blaze rods to make blaze powder, and then use the blaze powder with the ender pearls to make eyes of ender. The eyes of ender will help us find the end portal. I crafted a new shield because my other one was getting pretty low, and then I grabbed all the iron gear because I didn't want to have to come all the way back once the time hit an hour. It's time to throw my first ender pearl. Then I started my journey to the end portal. On my way, I found some ice, and it gave me an idea. Now, I was getting close to the ender portal. On my way through this ocean, we ended up passing the one hour mark, so I had to drop all of my diamond gear, and we are now on level 3. I finally found out where the stronghold is, now I just gotta find out where the portal is. Our pacing with this run is really good so far, because we are almost to the end and we still have the iron gear. It was time to go to the end. Now we are at the final stage of this challenge, beating the Ender Dragon. Before we can deal damage to the Ender Dragon, we must destroy all 10 of the End Crystals around the arena. 
While trying to do that, I accidentally aggroed a couple Endermen. So I used the water bucket to keep them away. Holy crap. Now I can finish destroying the end crystals. Now that all the end crystals are broken, I can finally deal damage to the ender dragon. Oh, oh! Then I made the worst mistake ever. Oh my gosh. No! Well, here we are again. Let's grab our items and let's start the timer. The plan is pretty much the same as it was before, except just to do it a lot faster. So we're gonna go down, get some obsidian, and then build a wide nether portal? Unlike last time, we actually had to search for the nether fortress because we didn't spawn right next to it. So I picked a direction and started mining. Hey, see that subscribe button down there? I put a ton of effort into these videos, so if you'd be so kind as to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, hi there, my piggy friend. I spent about four minutes looking for the fortress, but ended up finding the warped forest instead, but that's not what I wanted to find right now. I spent all of my time looking for the nether fortress, but was unable to find it, so I had to come back to get my diamond gear, put us into level two, and then went back to look again. Oh. Now that I found the fortress, I can quickly get my blaze rods and then head to the warped forest to get my ender pearls. Now that I got all the materials I need, I can go home and start searching for the end portal. This way. So the eye was telling me that the stronghold was underneath this ice, so I went down and looked, and sure enough, I found it. Now this is probably the most time-wasting part of this run. I spent nearly 10 minutes looking for the portal. Once I got into the end, I bridged over to the island and started destroying the end crystals. But once again, I screwed up. Dude, this bucket of water thing sucks. What? I'm just bad at Minecraft. I think that's, uh... I think that's pretty obvious.